What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we, we never, never left. left. Yeah, we back in the building. Back on the couch. Ready to jump back into The Sopranos. Uh, now, we're going to be checking out episode number one. Uh, the season finale was fire. One and two. Well, we have to do one and two. Exactly. Yeah. But we well, we about to start with uh, episode one of a new season. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the last <clears throat> the last season finale, that was fire. Uh I ain't gonna say I predicted it, but I, I kind of felt it. I kind of felt it in the air that that something was gonna happen. I did um, too. I but did I, too. but I didn't think that I, I didn't think that Pushy was gonna get knocked off like that. Not oh. the way that he did, and I definitely didn't think that Tony was gonna find out the way that he did either. He had it coming though, like, and he knew it all along. That's mm -hmm. why he was sweating bullets every time. Like <laughs> he, was he had to go him. around, him. yeah, because <laughs> he was like, man, please just don't let him find out, yeah. or don't let something slip up, or. Something, but I, I, you know, the way it kind of all happened, though, like, I didn't think that it was going to happen like that. I knew it was going, like, I felt like it was. I didn't know that it was going to happen, but I felt like at some point he was going to get caught up in it. And I feel like, I, and I feel like you kind of said it, too, in regards to, like, like you could tell that, that, it, that it was, it was kind of on, on Pushy's, like, conscience. Yeah. You could tell that it was, like, yeah. that he had that guilty conscience every time that he was around Tony. You could just see it, like, kind of written on his face, like, yeah. dang, like, you know, somebody, you know, some people that's being loyal to me, I'm not even being loyal to them. And right. you, can, you can see it like written all over his face. Like he just had like a, like a completely like defeated look on his face at one point in time. Right. <clears throat> but he was telling the truth. I felt like he was just only giving him a bunch of like, you know. Like run around stuff. Yeah. Like kind of giving him the run around a little yeah. bit, but he wasn't really giving them information as much as he knew. As much as he knew, but, but, at the, but still though, he still was giving them information because they did find out about those stolen airplane uh, tickets. Oh, oh, the ones that Tony had, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So he still was he still was giving them stuff and feeding them information, but it was almost like he was like bird feeding them. Like here's a seed, here's a seed, but he wasn't just giving them the full entree of what's really going on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so but but I feel I still feel like he had to go because eventually. He was gonna start giving them the real deal, right? Because he, because he wasn't trying to do thirty years in prison. No, for for uh, for handling H. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. So y'all tap in, okay? We're about to jump into season three. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash right. that notification bell so Definitely. you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon, check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, as well as our behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well. Yes, so, uh, shoot, are you ready? I, I think ready? I am. I think I am. Like I said, my mind was kind of blown <laughs> by the season finale, but I'm definitely ready to go ahead and jump into this one. No, you know what I mean? Me too. Me too. Yeah. The humble abode. <laughs> the fact that he walks out there every day to get his trash can. Or get his uh, his paper no. every day. <laughs> he walk walks down, out there in his house. Go walk down his long driveway. All right. Same, but Mike's grandma's cousin. I gotta come in to take care of him. Who's it telling me about the Bevel Aqua kid? It's the fucking Matthew. It's not very good. You sure cried like a baby that night. What are you gonna eat? Hey, waiter. <laughs> That's the closest CW16 <laughs> ever got Tony to discussing the Bevel Aqua murder on tape. I think at this point, it's time to consider 16 bump and sour compost. What's crucial? The airline tickets. Mail and wire fraud, especially if the mother testifies. Come on. Whose own mother's going to testify against him? <laughs> Tony's. Richie Aprile. No doubt about it, the cartel had him whacked. You're wrong about Richie. Tony avoids talking business in the house if he can. But if he has to, the basement has these noisy AC ducts. He turns on the air, and he feels it's safe. Surreptitiously enter said premises and leave without notice. This is a sneak and peek warrant. I said you could enter the basement to drop a wire. First, when the home is empty, we enter to determine where to best place the wire. Once that's decided, the listening device will be fabricated and we will re-enter to install it. Oh, wow. Hunting. He signed it, too. <clears throat> Ooh. So he's about to bug his house? Ooh. Ooh. This serious. This serious business right here. Look. How are they gonna pull that off? Same time as yesterday. 
listen, I'll save you some gas. I'm just going down to the stationery store, then I'll be right back. You don't gotta follow me like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Carmela's gone the same hours on Tuesday. Tennis lessons. As long as we have somebody on her during tennis and on the maid and Tony and everybody that's got a key to the house. The daughter's at Columbia, lives in the dorms. Put somebody on her. Oh, man. Hmm. They're trying to figure out how to get this bug in his house. <clears throat> Dang. He, he hot. He hot right now. Tony is hot. But you, see, but you see how good Tony is? Because he didn't say anything about the murders while he was around them. Mm -hmm. He always changes the subject. Baby thing headed your way. Copy control. I just feel like he's very smart in how he moves, you know? Yeah. Like, with experience. Like, I already know how this game goes. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I don't say nothing, you can't prosecute me. Right. <clears throat> you know, you got bottom bing headed your way. I said bottom bing. I don't wanna do your dirty work no more. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do your dirty work no more. No more. Ooh, man. They even following Carmel everywhere she go. You have visual contact of Princess Bay. Roger control. Unit one approximately one minute, you'll have the maid. The location read secure, you have one hour and 30 minutes. That sound like that beat by Sting. <laughs> <clears throat> How they just pulling up to the house unannounced? I do not know. On some on somebody's property. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Time for lunch. Wash my hands. <clears throat> you just washed your hands. Then I tied my shoes. So what? Never go to tie your shoes and you notice the end of your laces are wet? Come on. Uh. Why would they be wet? Because <laughs> they've been dragging on the ground. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the oven. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. <laughs> hey, like, I'm just, I'm just telling y'all. That's a man's worst nightmare, by the way. <laughs> How can they just come in? At they got a they got a warrant or whatever to do it. Man. And this is the FBI. Okay, they can do whatever they want to do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. No way, Asia. Ooh, I will be sweating. That's Tony Soprano's house. I'm some Virgil. No, thanks. I got no appetite. Today would have been our birthday. Our birthday. Oh yeah. You big motherfucker! Oh, I remember that part. I do too. <laughs> I didn't know that was him though. Me neither. There's a twin bond. Unless you experienced it, you can't understand it. You okay with onions, right? Hey, nothing sounds crazy anymore. <clears throat> well, it's over, right? He did it. <laughs> that was him. That was in the car. That did it? I think so. <clears throat> I miss him so much. Yeah, well, that's natural. But you're with us now, so why don't you uh, leave the morbid shit back at Junior's crew and uh, have a happy birthday? That's all. That's right. Tony Crew did that to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They being so insensitive. That's so messed up. Because they don't care. <laughs> Look how he looking. That was him that did it, right? Yeah. Well, he got the same hair. Look. <laughs> Look, they can't even stay focused. Say what he looked at. He's taking orders, dude. Pete Snapple. Me too. I only got two bucks. Mr. Les almost stole my board in my locker. Why can't they see how useful boards would be at school anyway? Like in the cafeteria. Look at that. AJ. I know. <laughs> he growing up too fast for me. Well, he was already he was already smoking bud already. <laughs> He looks so much older, though. Mm-hmm. Look like a teenager, for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's Egon. All of them. Hey, Cosmo. OK. I'm not dropping my son off with a bunch of kids outside smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know if she was paying attention. Gosh. 
Right. They are in the crib. Look at this. Look, he finna look through okay, there. Okay, cut it. They, they looking through the refrigerator. They probably done made some baked ZD and everything. Everything. Special capers from Italy. Soprano kids don't like them. Who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Martin Luther King. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Start shooting over here. Oh, man. <clears throat> hey, he's got the Black and Decker. I got one of those. Whoa, wait a minute. What? Look at the brown water. Right there, freeze it. Is it leaking? Uh -huh. That baby's gonna blow. <laughs> Tony got about six months left to go on that lining. It's a shame that we can't warn him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They having a field day. Man, this is so bad. Man, it's getting heavy. Oh. Look, they're gonna make it look literally identical to the one he has down in the basement. Right. When's this puppy going in? Tomorrow. Wow, man. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I feel like Tony gonna get caught. It's too. It's too close to home. It's so close to home. It's in the home. <clears throat> okay, fellas and gals, our big day. And as I speak, I have baby Bing right on time. And it's probably been going on for months. You think so? Every day, yep. Every single day, I following feel like, him. I feel like they were trying, yeah, maybe, because they got to probably learn the pattern and stuff. Mr. Bingo's up early today. He's in the cabin. Copy. I got the handle. <laughs> and he know they following him. At the end of the day, he just got to fly straight like a bird right now. How's the new stock doing? Up three at the close of the Dow yesterday. Another two so far today. Beautiful. Mm. 5%. Listen, Tone, uh, I think we may have a problem. Log off. That cookie shit makes me nervous. I think we may have a problem about our friend, the twin. Joey says lately he's been into the booze very heavy and that he knows how his brother died and who's responsible and all that. Mm. You mentioned me by name? No, me neither. How the fuck would Patsy know we clip spoons? What, that fucking twin telepathy? Somebody's putting mm -hmm. ideas in this kid's head. That's his twin talking from the grave. <laughs> All right. What should we do? Well, we brought him over from Junior's crew to keep an eye on him. So that's what we'll keep doing. We always have the option. Hey, we always got options. Right. Yeah, we got options. But the block is hot. Right. SC team, we got the housekeeper to wait out, then the house is all yours. I know. Take a deep breath. <laughs> you better hope nobody hurries up and come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They look like me out there trying to play tennis. Her <laughs> swing is horrible. Off my father! Off my father! Did you hear something? She said, oh my God, oh my God. We think we heard something from inside the sausage factory. Is that the sausage factory? You know they got code names. And maybe that's the housekeeper that's calling her. Another go. Repeat. We are not a go. They barely got away. Oh man! But barely got away. Must be a crisis with one of the children. Get away from my residence, please. Get away from my crib. Oh, it busted. Ten fucking years, he said this. Thing was oh, Hundred and twenty gallon water heater. Wait, somebody just walked past the kitchen window. What the hell? Is that Pat Parisi? Oh, shit. What the? What you that's doing? the, oh no. That's old oh, boy, that's old oh, boy. That's, 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 that's a twin. That's a twin. Boy, put that thing away. You are not about that life. He's drunk. <laughs> and he's on the property. The nerve. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> he pissing in the he pissing in the uh in the in the pool like it's a toilet. Mr. Bingle has left the building. <laughs> they fucking made me. 
Player drop is still a go. He gave me the finger before he pulled off. Sign wires cut. Boy, ain't they little some little slimy individuals, ain't they? Sneaky. I'm trying to tell you. Sneaky geeky. Sweet mother of Jesus. Look at her today. <laughs> <laughs> They enjoying this a little bit too much. They got them on the wrong job, okay? They need to be on a different part of the job. Right. Sure, they loving their job right now. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, man. Babe. Hey, smile for the Kodak camera, man. Boy, I tell you, boy. <laughs> smile for the camera. Mm, mm, mm. Wait, wait, wait. This table's been moved. Clean up from the flood. It's not under the right duct anymore. Should we move it back? What? Two, three feet? Who's going to notice? Easy, easy, easy. Hey, where is everybody? That's an old boy. Yeah. He just carrying on like Tony wasn't even there. Like he didn't even walk in the room. You got a problem? What, Tony? I don't know. I heard maybe you got a fucking problem. Like you don't like being here. I like being here. You sure? Yeah. And your brother, Bonani Man, you've recovered from that shit there. You put your grief behind you. Did he? The hell no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let me hear you say it. <laughs> I put the grief behind me. <laughs> you got a younger son, too, right? You ought to bring him up to the house. You can hang out with AJ. We can get something to eat, they can go in the pool. No, nah, I don't want to get in the pool. He <laughs> pissed in the pool. <laughs> Control, you hearing me? Loud and clear. Leave the factory. Roger that. I'm good to go. See, one thing you got to remember is that this was kind of before people had surveillance cameras in their house. Yeah. I hope they don't catch Look, nothing. They high-fived each other. Right. That they got it in there, too. Yeah. Hope they don't, and, and hope they don't get nothing. Dang. I wish the 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 water heater would have busted after <laughs> they put it in after there. After they planted it in there? Yeah. yeah. Might get a little messy. Oh, they can hear us, too. Well, boy. All right. The old one blew. Flooded the whole goddamn place. Yeah, I can smell the mildew, you know. They're not discussing OC. Two minutes, we're allowed to check back in. So I guess they got to give them time in between that they can listen? I guess so. Oh, they're going back online. What's those coffee this morning? Vienna roast. It's uh, not as acidic as the Italian. Clean me right out. You know, I've had something stuck in my teeth for two days now. Jesus. <laughs> They're not getting nothing right now. No. <laughs> Nobody ever puts it back in the Oh! That was highly unexpected. What happened? Second firebomb. Oh, about the retaliation between the mob because they were fighting over, like, like the garbage. Not look, look. What happened? Wait. Oh my God. Oh did, my God. He, did he pass out? Tony. Oh, my God. Tony, are you all right? Uncle Ben. What happened? Is that metal? What are you doing here? We have to drive back here because some schmuck stole the VCR from the common room. Well, look at him. This is a great movie. We're out of here. What are you going to to watch old movies? Who's we? I'll be ready to bolt in a sack. Mr. Soprano? Yeah. Hey, I'm Noah Tannenbaum. No, I'm just going to grab the bare naked lady CD and then let's hit the road. 
He's sitting down on the couch and everything. Look, he got his shoes off, <laughs> babe. So you and Meadow, are you uh, a little early to say? Look, he's a little early to say. No? I'm from Los Angeles, West LA. Oh, what, I, what I mean is just like we're Italian. Oh, my dad is Jewish and my mother's family is African American. So we do understand each other here. You're a uh, Ditsu. Excuse me? A uh, charcoal briquette, a moulignon. What's your problem? I think you know what my problem is. She didn't do you any favors bringing you into this house. Mm. Fuck you. See, that's the kind of thing I'm hoping to avoid. You're going to say how nice it was to meet me. Then you're going to go drop her off at school and you're going to say goodbye. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Give words to the wise. Later, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> Got somebody in there like Tony Soprano looking in your face. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna take her back <laughs> and say goodbye. Right. Wow. Capicola. Can't go wrong with some Capicola. Oh, that meat looks good. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Oh, Uncle Ben's. So good for months. If you didn't instigate things. I instigate? He's just a new friend, Tony. You want her to be with him, just keep it up. Keep playing the race card. You're gonna drive her right into his arms. Not if I cut off those fucking arms. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, it's okay. Yeah, if one of my sisters ever brought home a fucking butterhead, you know what my old man would do? <laughs> a butterhead. Everything but a head. Look who comes. Well, actually, I'm standing here in front of you. Uh, hey. I wish the Lord would take me now. Well, in the meantime, sis. She's going to finish baby journals from a long time ago. Oh, yeah, I remember these. What the fuck? I'm supposed to fill these out. 20 years, fat fucking nothing. Now, look here. <laughs> I don't like that kind of talk. You can't write stuff down from your life for your grandkids? It's none of anybody's business. Wait. Isn't that the girl that was the friend of the girl that he was messing with? Oh, it is. It is. Remember the airline tickets? The tickets were stolen. Did you say that? Or did the Fed say that? Whoa, what, what did I do? This is important. They're trying to build a RICO case against me. Don't wave your hanky at me. I never stated those tickets were stolen, capiche? Any kind of deal they try to make, you keep your mouth shut. So you plead a fifth. <laughs> I plead a fifth. You know, for a year, I didn't speak to you. Maybe I should have kept it that way. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it, do what you want. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shoot, and I think that I think they're gonna start trying to talk to her. The public enemy. James Cagney. Did you say something to Noah? You're smart. You'll keep walking down those stairs. What did you say? He was all quiet, Hunter. She thinks he's a snob. Oh, you didn't hear me? Maybe if I say it in Swahili. <laughs> Meadow, can you come up here? Typical dad. <laughs> That's going to be my vibe if Kaylee brings somebody home. <laughs> off, off top. I ain't, I ain't going to hold you. Uh-oh. What? Oh, your mother died. You're kidding. I mean, uh, Jesus Christ. What? I'm sorry, Dad. Me too. Hey, your grandmother loved you very much. Damn. Right? I wasn't expecting her to say that. He was just over there that morning. Wow. What, what happened to and, her? And you remember, you remember the last thing that he said to her? What did what? Did what? About he should have kept it that way. He said, I, Mom, I didn't speak to you in over a year. I should have kept it that way. Did she really die, though? <sighs> she was in no pain, Tony. What about the cause of death, did they say? Massive stroke. Wow. So she will not be finishing journal. A journal? Those Granny Remembers books you bought her when the kids were born. She never touched them. 
Asshole Robert Frost. How am I supposed to know what this means? <laughs> How can you do homework? Okay, look. Where is he? He's in a field on a horse. He's not on the horse. The horse has bells. What kind of horse has bells? I don't know. Just give me the fucking answer so I can write this. <laughs> and what does snow symbolize? Christmas. Hello, death. He has miles to go before he sleeps. So he must be far away from his house. He's talking about his own death, which is yet to come, but will come. That's fucked up. <laughs> I thought black was death. White too. Grandma? <laughs> wow. What are you doing? I didn't want any kind of service, Tony. No remembrance at all. So we'll pick out a simple urn or whatever. I'll see you there. Oh, I'm sorry. We all know how much you loved her. I'm sorry, T. Dang, I just can't believe that. Just and just like that too. What are you gonna do? Yeah. At least she didn't suffer. That Absolutely. That's right. That's right. What's next? Huh? That's her parents. How's Tony taking? I oh, want the fuck, goddamn fucking bitch! What do I tell my kids when their own family would come to a funeral? Take it easy. I'll handle it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell? I know. <laughs> Ace Garage. You're not coming to your own mother's fucking funeral? May I speak? Go the fuck ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well at funerals, Tony. Who does? You just don't want to get your ass out of whatever chair it's in. She was your mother. You know they got special rates for family debt. Yeah, $1,100. Fully researched and everything, huh? All right, fuck it, I'll pay it. Can I bring my fiance? Fuck that. One seat. Coach, don't come breezing in here when it comes time to cover up the estate. I know you think Mars got body buried in the house. She said, can I bring my fiance? <laughs> yeah, somebody who was in the, in, the, in the streets or something like that. Yeah, I wish... The... Hey, you go down wishing stuff again. I wish you was a wishing well. So that I could tie a bucket to you and sink you. <laughs> <laughs> found someone you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Ma. I came over to give you something. Yeah, and when you need me more, just say so. I'm making plenty. Money don't mean nothing. I mean <laughs> the shows that he likes to watch. Though I see he, he likes a lot of like throwback older James Cagney stuff. Yeah, I don't even know who James Cagney is. Yeah, he go way back. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear. I don't know how you feel. We lost my last year. Oh, come well, out. She's gone. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, who gave the order to torch one of Albert's trucks? Talk to him. He lit up two of my dumpsters. We're in newspapers every fucking week with this shit. My crew is in line for the contract. This guy over there keeps whispering to Albert. You're a captain, Ralphie, when I say you're a captain. And I'm going to turn up my hearing aid so I don't miss it. <laughs> you with me? No more fires. I'm tired of picking up the paper and saying that y'all torching each other's trucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big war going back and forth. Well, you see, she didn't want any service of any kind. I find that hard to accept. Not to have a wake or a funeral. I mean, it makes us look like we're unloving children, not to mention cheapskate. The woman expressed her wishes. <clears throat> what, you think we should do something now? When she was young, she used to picture her funeral. All right, fine. <laughs> when she was young. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. My condolence is none. It's a relief. You're not saying nothing. You want to know the truth. You know, everybody else all bullshit. I'm glad she's dead. I wished she'd die. Wished. Wow. He ruined my father's life. But he wasn't her son. What did she do to you? Come on, that's a matter of public record in here. You don't like to say it, do you? Who knows if she even knew what she was doing? You're letting her off. So we're probably done here, right? She's dead.
Tony Soprano's mother's wake is tonight. Want me to wear a wire? Why not? You need batteries? Um. What is she doing? <laughs> what? She's trying to see if there's anything in the walls. None of my childhood schoolwork or artwork or anything for that matter is here anymore. And nor Barb's. Get the fuck out of here. Anthony Soprano. Well, take a look. She only saved yours. Oh, it looks just like her, too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Tony, I'm, I'm sorry. He's disrespectful. Stop asking fucking questions. Oh, he's trying to turn up first. Look at her, she like. <laughs> oh my God. Every little bit helps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, man, we've been getting loaded first, but we even go over here like. <laughs> Look, the FBI sent flowers. You see that? Yeah, I do. Oh, man, that, just, would, be, that just, would make me so mad. Just for them to say, hello, hi. Uncle Junior. What a fucking blow. Now you too. I'm serious. My dad's very old, too. Rafi Seferetto. He got word to me. So what does he want? He wants a bump up to captain. The kid's been a top fucking earner ever since that rat bastard went in the program. And three months ago, by you, the rat bastard was the second fucking coming. Stay home, clip your coupons, be a happy man. He said clip your coupons. Sit at the house. Joe Zachary? Yeah? Oh boy, no fires. Tony doesn't want any fires. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, well, we'll just They jumped show out with the bats. Up. Louisville sluggers. Dang. Mother, brother, and Miss Doyle. I'll go to funeral procession. The Lord bless her and keep her. Mm. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Look at her. She's already becoming a robot. I'm so sorry about your grandma. At least she didn't suffer. All our innocence is gone. She looked at him. Meadow, meadow, meadow. This is a survivor show. Somebody should find the winner. Stick a pistol in the face. Did, Did you see that? Was that was that pushy? Attention. At this time, we would like to ask you all to join us in the great room. Form a circle. God damn it. Please, everyone, join us. Look, he was avoiding. He was trying to avoid this. Look at Christopher and Adrian. <laughs> they in there laying on the couch. Yeah, like, they own one. We chilling. <laughs> yeah. This was her favorite song. I thought it might help us get rolling. I love you. Look <laughs> at Tony's face. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Look, she's trying to get out of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even play the whole song. Hey. So tell him she's dead. What? I guess our little secret dies with her. Well, no secret. About Tony burning down the restaurant. Ooh. 
What am I doing out here? Everybody's in there telling stories of her. I got a butte. Artie. Artie, don't talk about that. Mrs. Soprano may have passed, but who's to say there isn't another Mrs. Soprano just like her? Maybe not with the same fears and paranoia, but... What I'm saying is... Thank you, Chris. Thank you. He don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Uh-oh, now here he go. Please, Artie. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like you're about to say something crazy. This is such a crock of shit. This is a woman who didn't want a funeral. You ignored her wishes. Only after she's dead, by the way. She didn't want a remembrance of any kind. Why? She didn't think anybody would come. She wouldn't write down her memories for her grandchildren because she figured nobody loved her enough to read them. Oh, so she took a shot. <laughs> took that shot. Um, there's uh, desserts in the dining room if anybody wants some. <laughs> Tony look mad. <laughs> mad at who? I don't know. Probably everybody in the room almost. Yeah, I feel like so too. No, no, Tommy boy. You're my baby. You're going to get well and strong. Hmm. Yeah? Fine. Come on. They're bringing Tom home. Oh, it's wonderful. I'll get his room ready. Wow. Oh! What happened to him? Somebody brought him like that? Yeah. See? Now it's hitting him. Mm -hmm. Aww. <sighs> wow, 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 wow. Proshai Lavushka. Man, this was so unexpected that his mom would just pass. She just passed away unexpectedly. I wasn't completely. expecting this to happen. Yeah, like. I'm just curious. I know it's like kind of off topic, but I wonder if something really happened to her. Like, why would they take her off the show like unexpectedly like that? But I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, it would fall within the script because Tony always talking crazy to her anyway. But it's kind of like one of them things that, you know, you should be careful what you wish for type of type mm -hmm. of vibe, you mm -hmm. know, like. And that's why I brought that up, like at the very like, like at the very beginning when he was talking to her mm -hmm. before he walked out. Yeah. He was like, sometimes. You know, I went over a year without talking to you and I should have kept, kept it, it that, that way. way. Yeah. You know, and that was like the very last thing that he said. So that's like, that's probably going to be like his last, one of the like last memories that he going to remember of like talking to his mom and speaking to her was really about, you know, about the whole case and everything that she might get asked questions and make sure that she don't, you know, uh, agree and, and speak on things yeah. like that. So that's like one, that's really like, really like the last interaction and like one of like the last, lasting memories that he's going to have. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, for for the rest of his life. I wonder if, like, Doctor Melfi. I'm just curious to know. Like, you heard Doctor Melfi say that that's like a taboo thing that people don't talk about. Like, she said that a lot of older, like, adults in general, like, wish that 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 would happen to their parents, especially when they become like dysfunctional and they have like a like a <laughs> you know the type of disorder. This bird. That's what I saw. <laughs> mm -hmm. A disorder. You see him. Mm -mm. A disorder that I guess you know where it's always like a negative type of energy type of feel yeah. so so i'm just curious to know that and and if he felt that you know after talking to her like now obviously now too that it's starting to set in to him that maybe he he shouldn't have did that like maybe he wished that he wouldn't have said something like that because it actually came true you know yeah that was like again like i said it just came out of completely nowhere and and me and that's how it goes anyway just in regards to like death like it, it's always some a lot of times it's pretty much unexpected, you know. Yeah. So I, I I just hate that for for Tony because he he never had an opportunity, and his mom never they never had an opportunity to reconcile to and, and right. really fix things. Mm -hmm. Not saying that they ever would have, but like I said, the what if? What if they had more time and they yeah. could have, and they could have reconciled, you yeah. know? But you see how how 
uh, his sister, like she already trying, she are the vultures. Okay, everybody starts showing their real true colors when when people start passing away. That's when you really find out who people are. Mm -hmm. She already she trying to take the house. She trying to get the estate. She knocking on the walls downstairs to see if there's something in the <laughs> in the wall for her. Like she trying to get everything. Her collection. Yeah, like the record collection. Her little yeah, collection of music, like everything. And, and she and she gave that to 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 the maid, you right. know, to to the help, right. you know, to to. She gave that to her, mm -hmm. and then she already kind of like do, like doing those types of things, and then, you know, just the way that they that that they're acting towards each other, Tony and his sisters, you know, like Janet, she she's like. Yeah, Tony. Like she kept all of your stuff. She didn't keep anything of mine. And yeah, you know. And like you said, you just kind of seeing like people's true character like come out, especially like when when you know when siblings' parents pass away. Yeah, you know. And then mm -hmm. you, and you see the quarreling and all that. Yeah. Now um, I see why Tony feels the way that he feels about Janice too. Like I'm starting to see she's starting to show her true side. Slowly but surely, you did. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You yeah. Did. Even even when even before she left. Yeah. You know, and, even before she left to go back to Seattle, you right. saw you saw like how you was like, uh, she kind of shaky, like yeah, you know, she's not solid. She's not solid at and all. It. And the fact that they got Tony's house bug now, like, oh, y'all, yeah. yeah, that's like that. That's like the biggest part of the uh, of this, you know, since this season started for me. That's like the biggest thing because I feel like man, the heat is on, like like. If the pressure was on before, it's it's, it's definitely on now. Absolutely, and, and and I just feel like Tony got to do the best thing that he can do, even though he don't. He he knows that they watching because every time he leave, he see them and he pass them. You know what I mean? And, and and he give them a great gesture every single time. But it just seemed like right now with everything that they have going on, and you know how they be like. All the violence, how they be knocking people off. Yeah. Like, like, he got to be very, very careful with that now. Which is why I feel like he making a big deal out of the whole lighting the fire, the the, the trash trucks and stuff on fire. Because he mm -hmm. know that they watching him with a close eye. And he would be naive to think for one second that they wouldn't even try to tap his house like that. If they sitting outside his house and following him around like right. that. And, so, but I, I, but he, he's a very, very smart underboss, Tony is. Yeah. Because a lot of things that happen, you, you see when things happen... He take them outside to the pool. Not only that, but you can't come talk to him. You got to go talk to somebody else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they got to come talk to Tony. You can't come talk to the boss. And you found that, and, and you, you also saw that in Goodfellas too. Yeah. With Polly, like whenever there was something mm -hmm. going on, he, sure had, he had one person that would come up to him and whisper it in his ear. Yep. But other than that, nobody, we not, we not finna have no group conversation about nothing. Don't bring up nothing about anything illegal. No, don't bring up none of that because right. I'm going to sit here and look at you and be like, uh, what's for dinner? Uh, don't you have somewhere to be right now? Uh, all right. You know, like change the right. subject. So, like I said, with them tapping his house, that's a big deal. Yeah. Because they watching him even even, even, uh, even closer than they were before. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so they monitor him like 25-8. Dang. Okay. 366 days a year. So, so far, two big things happened in two episodes. They, they wired the house and Tony's mom died as well. So Yeah. Those are two big... Major things. Yeah, just to start this season off. Yeah. So, man, I don't know what we're gonna be in for, but I, hey, but I'm ready. I'm ready to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So, it's gonna be a good season. Y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this so far. I I read y'all's comments about season three being better <laughs> than season two, so I'm really excited to get into this season. Yeah. So, uh, but if y'all enjoyed this, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Peace. Bye.